Hi everybody, this is Robert at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to show you how to download your contacts directly from your iPhone to your computer without having to go through email. And this is going to be using SA Contacts Lite. This is specifically for iPhone, but the same basic process should also work for Android and you can use the exact same app. Now this is a follow along instructional video. This is going to be click by click instructions for exactly how to do every step in this process. And that's why we love video because you can watch me do it, pause the video, and then you do it. So if I'm moving maybe a little quickly for you, you can go at your own speed. Just pause the video after I perform the action and then you go perform it on your end and then restart the video. The first step to this process is to visit your app store and search for SA Contacts Lite. That's S as in Sam, A as in Apple, Contacts L-I-T-E. You do want the Lite version instead of the Pro version. You don't have to pay for this app. It is totally free. This is what the apps page looks like over here on the right. You want to make sure you're getting this exact app or these instructions won't work for you. You won't see on your phone what I'm showing here on the screen. This same app is also available for Android in the Play Store. On iPhone, tap the Get button just next to the icon to start the download process. Mine says Open because I already have the app installed, but yours will say Get. Next, make sure your phone and your computer are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Your phone cannot be in airplane mode, and if there are multiple networks around you that you could connect to, make sure to choose the one that your computer is also connected to. If your computer is hardwired to a modem or router, that's fine, as long as your phone is connecting wirelessly to the same modem or router network. If the modem or router that your computer is connected to does not have Wi-Fi, this tutorial will not work. Instead, there's going to be a video in this slideshow in the notes that you can use to do this via email, and I'll be sharing the link for this slideshow in the description of this video. Once you've downloaded the SA Contacts Lite app, go ahead and open it. From the app's home page under Property Style, Backup will likely be selected by default. We want to choose a different property style, so tap on that drop down. In the menu that pops up, we'll choose Outlook. We don't want Outlook.com or anything else, just plain Outlook. This menu may look a little different on Android, but you should have roughly the same options. Now that we have Outlook selected for property style, we can tap Start down at the bottom to begin the export. Once the export completes, which may take a little while depending on how many contacts you have in your phone, tap on the Wi-Fi icon just above the Cancel and Continue buttons. After tapping the Wi-Fi option, an IP address should be listed right in the center of the screen. Your IP address will absolutely be different than mine, as it's different for each and every device and each and every network. If your phone is not connected to Wi-Fi, an error of no Wi-Fi will show instead. You'll want to make sure that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer to move forward. If that IP address is there, we'll need that for the next step. Now on your computer, open your internet browser. Up in the address bar at the very top where things like facebook.com or google.com go, type that full IP address, including the colon 8080 at the end, and hit enter. Right in the middle, the only thing on this page should be a message and the link to download the file. Click on the blue link with the name of that XLS file to download it. The file will be downloaded to the default download location on your computer, which is probably the Downloads folder. This should be roughly the same for both Mac and PC. If you've previously changed the default download location in your browser's settings, the file will be saved there instead. Next, go to your email client, whether it's Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, or anything else, and compose a new message. In the To field, type support at scottleroymarketing.com. Add the request to import your contacts to the subject or the body of your email or both. Make sure to include your MyKW username and password in the body of the email. We can't import anything for you without the correct login information. This message says both eEdge and Command, but if you're watching this video in the future, Command may be the only option available eventually.
SLM can only import into KW provided CRMs. No outside services like Top Producer, Exact Contact, Contactually, Buffini, Conversion, anything else. Only currently eEdge and Command, and in the future probably just Command. Next, click the Attach File button. In Gmail, this will be at the bottom with an icon that looks like a paperclip. That paperclip icon is fairly universal, so it should be similar on whatever email service that you're using. In the Attach File box that opens, browse to the folder where your contact file was saved. Remember, this is likely the Downloads folder. Click on the file, then click on Open down at the bottom right to attach it. Alternatively, you can just double click on the file to skip that step where you click on open. This is what the composed message will look like with the file attached in Gmail. Your email system will probably look different. Once the file is properly attached and all of the necessary information is in the body of the email, click send. If your email is sent during business hours of 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. weekdays, expect a confirmation email that we've received your file within 5 to 10 minutes. Outside of business hours, we would want to wait until the next business day. Please allow up to two full business days once the final and correct information is received in order to process your request. We will send another confirmation email once the contacts have been imported. You can check out our FAQ for more information at scottleroymarketing.com slash F as in frequently, A as in asked, Q as in questions. And that's it. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact us at support at scottleroymarketing.com.